In today's video, we're gonna talk about 5 new Blender add-ons that you probably missed. These include add-ons that can help you create explosions, wood textures, realistic cloth fabrics, hard surface modeling, and AI materials all inside Blender. But before we do that, I wanna let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale which includes discounts on add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first add-on is Simply Material, which is an add-on developed by the developer behind some of the most popular Blender add-ons such as Simply Cloth, Simply Concept, Simply Wrap, and now it is time for Simply Material. The add-on has a potential to be a great cloth and fabric texturing tool for Blender. It allows you to easily create professional materials for a wide range of applications, from fashion design to 3D game characters and even architectural visualization. The add-on has a really simple and intuitive user interface, making creating textures for clothing and fabric in general really easy to do. You don't even need to be able to use the node editor. Everything is handled through the add-on interface, which is fantastic. So this can be used by anyone, and especially people who don't like to fiddle around with the node editor too much. From what I have seen, the add-on is a comprehensive and extensive system to create materials and it covers just about every aspect of material building process that you might need. Starting from the base, mirror, and overlay textures, to substance scattering parameters, dirt, tearing, glitter, hair, and everything else in between. Just the fact that you can add lights to your clothes textures should give you an idea of how extensive the system is really is. We also have another new add-on called DT2DB, which of course stands for Dream Texture to Deep Bump, created by Ammon Deep. This add-on will integrate itself into your node editor and offers a really easy way of using Dream Textures, with the added benefit of generating a height and a normal map automatically for your textures. Dream Textures is a revolutionary add-on for Blender. It allows you to use stable diffusion and the power of AI generated images right within Blender. The craze of AI is upon us, and it is getting exponentially better every single day, but it is scary at the same time. This one in particular actually blew me away when I saw it first. You can download Dream Textures for free, install it into Blender, and you can forget completely about downloading textures from the internet. All you need to do is to give it a prompt or a request about the kind of texture you want. And voila, you got your texture ready. You want your textures to be seamless, right? No problem. How much resolution do you need? Yes. This add-on is a must-have for any Blender artist and you owe it yourself to try it. One shortcoming that the add-on has, well, it is not a shortcoming but more of a helpful feature that would have been nice to include which is turning those seamless textures into PBR materials which is necessary these days. This is really helpful as Deep Bump, which is also free, can generate normal, height and coverture map from a simple albedo texture, which is basically just a color map without all the lighting data baked into it. Some of the textures I got from Dream Textures had lighting and shadow baked into them, however in general, for the best results, you would want your texture to look something like this. But I am sure if you ask the AI to generate a texture without highlight or shadow data, it will probably be able to do so. As we mentioned before, having Dream Textures and Deep Pump already installed is a prerequisite to be able to take advantage of the DT to DB bridge add-on. Once everything is installed, you can find it in the M panel of the node editor. You can type the prompt or pick any of the common suggested tags. You can pick the resolution and you can either select one or type your desired resolution manually. Under Deep Bump Maps, you can choose between Normal and Height or you can select both of them at the same time. You can also select other maps like Roughness and Metallic, but these two will be generated using Color Ramp nodes. And last but not least, there is also Steps, which basically denotes the number of calculations it takes to generate the image. Finally, you can hit Generate, and this will first generate your albedo texture, and right after that, the normal and the height map. Everything will be set up in the shader editor manually, so you can easily adjust the intensity of the normal map or the roughness value. Loop Copier is a new Blender add-on that works as a simple tool for copy and mash along the selected edge loop. 
This add-on is from a talented developer who created a lot of Blender add-ons, especially those about modeling and smart ways about doing that. This add-on in particular looks like it works almost the same as the array modifier, but it is actually quite different. The original mesh elements will deform when applying the array modifier along with the curve modifier since the curve modifier bends it, which is undesirable to say the least. This add-on was developed specifically to solve this problem. The add-on doesn't deform the mesh that it will create for you when you want to make or create hard surface objects such as tanks, armors, magazines, chains, etc. Additionally, the add-on has many cool tools that can help you achieve what you want as a result. The first feature we should mention is that you can choose the number of copies that you want, and you can also set the rotation, scale, and offset. You can also copy objects whether on a closed loop such as a circle or even an open-ended edge such as a path or a curve. This tool can also be used to copy objects on already existing edges or other meshes, and this can be a replacement for the instancing node on geometry nodes. Another thing that this add-on allows you to do is to replace the copied object on a curved surface on a selected edge using face normals. In the new update of the add-on, the developer added support for geometry nodes where now you can check the option box in the menu to enable the setup of geometry nodes and then you can edit the geometry node setting anytime and even make some animations from it. Using this add-on, you can honestly get rid of the array and curve modifiers because it provides an easier and better solution. And using it, you can create chains and loops of stairs, and you can also use it to create, for example, copies of buttons on top of a shirt, which is cool. We also have VDB Lab, that allows you to easily generate high-quality explosions in a very short period of time. It offers a selection of emitters and effects that you can combine to get exactly the explosion that you want, as well as simulation settings such as adding forces, debris, in addition to material settings and render options all in one place. The great thing about VDB Lab Workflow is that it allows you to easily save your explosions and share them in a very simple way. Not only that, because the shader used here is very customizable, which oftentimes is a key element in these effects because no explosion has to be similar to another, and you can tailor tune your effects exactly as you want. From the size, shape, speed of dispersion, color, and everything else in between. This is a great tool to have if you are a filmmaker, a VFX artist, or even a hobbyist, this add-on can be really fun to play around with. The developer behind some awesome add-ons with the same name RBD Lab, which is another awesome add-on that allows you to blow things up. We already reviewed RBD Lab, so you can take a look at the video to understand what it is about. VDB Lab works similarly to RBD Lab because it uses a streamlined linear workflow to build your effects piece by piece, or in VDB Lab's case, modules, and there are five of them, which are emitter, flow, forces, domain, and shader. But VDB Lab comes with a lot of presets that you can use as a starting point so you don't have to start from scratch. You can also import and export your creations or reuse any of them in different projects. On the flip side, if you want to start from a clean slate, you can choose to create a tab on the add-ons window. Also, Rewood Textures has just been released by B Production. The developers behind some popular add-ons such as Vegetation, Gardener, Grass Blade, and so on. The add-on contains 123 wood textures that come from 123 species of trees from 5 continents, and they are divided into 4 categories, which are European, American, Exotic, Precious Woods, and Burls. By the way, all the textures come in high quality resolutions ranging from 2K to 4K all the way to 8K, and you can choose which resolution to use depending on your needs and the projects at hand. Six wood treatments are available, each of which has a unique shader, and the add-on lets you modify the textures using its own shader. And all the materials have six various finishes, which are raw, satin, glossy soft, glossy high, oily, and waxed. And this can be changed for each texture with a great ease. You can also change the hue, contrast, and brightness, as well as the bump and the normal maps, the specularity and roughness, and the ability to simulate painted wood, which is fantastic. And this is all thanks to the wood shader. 
The add-on also comes with an asset browser that can assist you in optimizing and facilitating your workflow. Generally speaking, the add-on is simple to use and allows you to assign your wood materials to objects simply by clicking and dragging to your object. All the textures are ready to use in any case, and by that I mean in rooms, for decoration, and also when designing furniture. By using these textures, you will be able to create warm and hyper-realistic atmospheres. Also, because all the textures are entirely seamless, they will be repeated without noticing the edges, which makes them ideal for massive 3D models, especially for close-up shots. Additionally, all the materials are PBR materials, and they have diffuse, specular, roughness, normal, bump, as well as ambient occlusion for some materials. This ensures that the materials look correct, regardless of the lighting conditions in your scene. The add-on also features a remarkable feature called anisotropic reflections, which enables some wood species to have stunning reflections that change appearance depending on the light. This is often known as metallic materials and in some other families of materials such as wood veneer. This will allow you to simulate very beautiful reflections in wood to make it look even more realistic. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.